Disa, I just want to say, I've, I've learned a little bit about you, but I'm going to show you a picture if we can get it up here. Can you see that picture? Do you see that? Where are I'm you? I'm in the maid costume. Okay. That okay. is my acting debut community theater. Now, I know you were the, the prop girl doing all the stage stuff since you were a little girl, right? Yes. I was performing at Theater Under the Stars as a kid. <laughs> And did you're, television you're, as an adult, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before we talk about your mom, your amazing mom, I just want to focus on you because what you've done in your world is pretty amazing. And you are now a renowned artist and it all started with theater, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Theater was the, the, the ignition to all of it. Uh, the, the magic. It's magic. Right. Art theater, all of the above. <laughs> I agree. It is the hardest thing, but it's the most fulfilling thing. It stretches your mind. It gets you out of your comfort zone. It is, it's exhilarating, right? It is. It is. So what you've done is taken that background and turned it into just an amazing, I was looking at pictures of your, your, your glitter, glitter, bang, bang, which is one of my favorite shows, Chitty, Chitty, Bang, Bang. Tell us about what you've accomplished there. You know, I really... I'm not a proponent for or against guns, but they are very much a part of our world. And we we look at them with awe or fear. And I just wanted to relay that in a in an urban landscape form. Uh -huh. So I did. I, I I put guns, they're they're camouflaged within backgrounds. Unless you see the piece in person and tilt to the side, you wouldn't notice it's a three-dimensional firearm. Um so I really wanted to play on that because it's just everywhere. And I think it's a part of our, our today's landscape, uh, good or bad. It's there. It's there. Exactly. Yes. And you have turned it into just an incredible installment, an incredible display. And you travel all around with your art. And, and in case people don't know, um, your mom was a famous real estate lady and we lost her it'll be two years ago on yes. uh on mother's day weekend yes it was uh she's been gone for two years and it's just been such a quiet world for me and i think many others actually that were close with her which was a lot of people a, a lot, lot of people, of people. martha really, turner really you are she was an icon absolutely even to me mm -hmm, i mean mm -hmm. even to me i always talk about yes she was my mother but then she was Martha Turner. Yeah. So there were the two sides to her for me to even recognize because when she was in mode, which was 99.9% .9 of the time, that's who she was and genuinely who she was. So she was so, a go-getter and didn't stop. It's, it's hard to be the daughter of a go-getter. And yet you, you, you know, and it, and it is, and that's just the reality of it too. So, it because they're, they, you know, a go-getter type A personality, just sometimes little girl wants you to be home sitting, holding your hand and she's got to go. Right. 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 <laughs> I got used to it. She'd be on the phone and start snapping her fingers at me where you're going to wear that. And I'm like, don't worry, don't worry. You know, <laughs> no, she was always on the go, um, which did give me a really good base to understand that if you want things to happen in life, no matter what you do, you can be the best baker, the best donut maker, the best bicycle repair person, do it with gusto and do it with joy. God so, bless you. That's, I was yeah. just going to ask you, what did you learn from mom? That if you want to do it, do it with gusto, no matter what it is, why not? Why not? No one's going to do it for you. No matter what you're doing, you have to do it for yourself. No one's going to say, here, why don't you do this? I'll let you do this or I'll let you do that. You have to create that for yourself. And if, especially if you find something you're passionate about. And with Martha, obviously, she was very, very passionate about real estate. But beyond that, that enabled her to be passionate in other areas, helping people. And I mean, things we never heard of. I have found out so much since her passing, people approaching me, things that she did for people, women individually, families that no one knew anything about. Uh, she just constantly was able to give back in her way, which was really amazing and, and mind blowing on so many levels. She didn't just sit there and I go, oh, I'm all this and fabulous. 
It's I'm all this because I've worked for it and I want you to have this and you to have that and you need what? Let's see how to make this happen. I love, you know, she's a doer. She's a doer. And she would always tell people, find a need and meet it. So if, if you see in your town, you need a, whatever it is, whatever it is, there's no, nothing's beneath anybody. It's how you do it and how you approach it. I love it. And so what you're doing for your mom, and I just love the sentiment behind this, and uh, you're putting on a really exclusive event on Mother's Day weekend so we can kind of delve into the world of Martha Turner. Yes. Um, with the help of the Stella Nova Foundation, we're uh, presenting an estate of grace sale. Now, what this is, this it's very strange for me and wonderful. It was two years before I could even open a box of her belongings when they right. came to me after her passing. I, I couldn't approach it. I was too heartbroken. And it took me time to just think about it all. And then I started opening the boxes. And it was like Christmas Day, Christmas Day, Christ everything I brought out. I was just like, this is, this is way more than I can wear in my lifetime right, or in right. toy. Martha really, we had very different styles, although I'm donning one of her blazers and some Look jewelry. Look at that. And ring. Um, <laughs> she dressed to perfection every day and enjoyed it. And she always told me when she was a little girl that she dreamed of having a job where she could get dressed up every day and be glamorous. And I think, you know, she, you can get dressed up and be glamorous no matter what you're doing, if that's what you want to do. And she right. better than any movie star. I never saw the woman without makeup. She was never caught without makeup. It was really unbelievable. Better than a movie star. Just yeah. always ready to go. I always called her camera ready. And as family, we always said, are you Martha ready? We're going with Martha. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> oh um, because it was a high standard to get to. But for yeah. her, it was second nature. And what's made her ready for her day to, to, to be anywhere and do anything for anyone. I love it. So how can can we get involved in this? How can we participate? Well, we will be at the Montrose Center May 10th and 11th, 11 to 6 on Friday and 9 to 6 on Saturday. Okay. And this is open to the public and it's at the Montrose Center at Bernard and Butte Street in Montrose. Mm -hmm. And we will have all the offerings set out. We have purses, jewelry, clothing, scarves, shoes, lots of shoes. Um, women love their shoes, right? Yes, and, we do. She had a very important thing that I did learn about shoes. If you find a shoe that fits and you like it, please do buy every color. Yes. Um, I've been I've been loving Donald Pliner lately. So if oh, a pair yeah. fits, then I've got to go. I wait for them to go on sale and get another pair. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And let me tell you, she looked for sales too. It was, that was part of the, she the worked joy. so hard that shopping, or if you will, for her, it was curating and creating her look was a wonderful hobby and something that brought her joy. I think in another lifetime, she could have been a fashion designer. I also thought she could have been an MGM movie star. I mean, there was just so many, so many ways she could be Martha. But she was Martha because she was Martha Turner and sold real estate and did it with such panache. Yes. And I know all the ladies that worked with her and, and the gentlemen, but the ladies for sure, you know, she encouraged everyone to be their best and to always feel wonderful and look fabulous. So um, it's going to be a really fun event. I, I couldn't imagine sitting on all this for the rest of my life. It made no sense. I, I, I chose a few things that reminded me of her. Uh, I kept my dollhouse that she made me, things like this. There were so many wonderful things. I wanted to share it with everyone and let that sharing come with being able to give to people that don't have access to mental health, health care or treatment. And that that, the funds will be going to, to that, right? Yes, the funds are going to the Montrose Center for mental health care and for health care for the homeless. So two, two things we feel very strongly about, and I know my mother did. Um, we lost my father. He died of suicide. So this was something very, very present in our lives always. So this is something I feel very strongly about, and I know she did too as well. So we want to make sure everybody gets help if they need help, because you need not suffer. And health care for the homeless, I mean, how can that be? I mean, whatever we can do in this world, 
to help. So here I have this fabulous wardrobe from my incredible mother who loved Houston, loved this city so much and its inhabitants and in all their forms. Um, this this is a good thing, and I feel good about it because it's I, I don't it's turning something wonderful into something more wonderful, exactly. and spreading a little joy for everyone to have, have well, a little piece of it. When you say a state of grace, it's an estate sale, people, which I love. Estate sales. This is going to yes. be one of the premier estate sales. Mother's Day weekend. It's a Friday and Saturday, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. We're going to get all the info up on this so people can go and peruse and buy shoes and shop until you drop and know that the money's going to a great cause. And it's going to kind of release like such a burden on you because you'll be helping out so many people with all that your mother's done. You'll get to continue. It is. It's like, oh, I miss her so. And this this whole event has been able to make me just oh I'm just like so I feel like I'm with her again yes as we've gone through all these things and you know wearing her Armani blazer right now this is for <laughs> sale and the turquoise and the turquoise and the ring's really wonderful too I don't know if it's beautiful see. um but she had you know everything went together with the next thing wonderfully so yeah it's a great way to come out and and find yourself a treasure uh price ranges are all over the map so there's something for everyone five dollars to five hundred dollars or as she used to say from twenty thousand to two million or what <laughs> on her commercials I used to love it you know she loved to sale that's what I'm saying the woman did not always buy retail she loved to sell. She was a true lady, like we are. We get like we are. And I bet she's, section. <laughs> she's looking at you saying, I raised you properly. This is exactly what I was hoping you would do with my stuff. <laughs> I, I'm thinking that's what she's thinking, because she used to say, where are you going to put all this? Not talking about her clothes, but I'm an assemblage artist. I'm always collecting knickknacks and old toys and things to build. And I'd bring in another box and she goes, where are you going to put it? And I'm like, oh, I'll find a place. But when I unpack these boxes, I'm like, uh, there's not a, my closet. It's not big enough. Right. He was such a big personality. That was the thing. She just such a huge personality and the wardrobe to match it. And well, I, yeah. I love that you've picked Mother's Day to honor your mom. And a lot of us moms will be out there to take advantage of all that she worked so hard for to make our city like it is. And we appreciate you for doing this. It's been just You're a welcome. joy to I talk to you. Thank you. It's been wonderful talking you to you too, Dana. And I'm I'm real excited and I hope everyone comes out and we'll all celebrate life together and fashion and fun. <laughs> At the Estate of Grace. I love it. We'll get all the information up there for you. Thank you for all you're doing. Thank you, Dana.